Hi gang, Wayne McPhail again, and this is part two of your ECN Hub Guide. In the first part, we took a look at how to navigate around the wiki, uh, some of the main content areas. This time out, we're going to be looking at how to actually create content, how to create pages, how to edit pages, and how to comment on pages. So let's dive right in. And I want to do that by just going over to the right now we looked at before and clicking on the water cooler. Um, and the water cooler is a more fun area of the site. I think a lot of people are going to be spending time on it, sharing ideas, sharing concerns, asking questions, that kind of thing. So let's look at this. There's two parts here, really. There's the sort of body copy of the page, and then there's also comments associated with the page. And in the wiki, um, any page can actually spark comments. There can be comments associated with every single page um, on the wiki. You'll also notice that there's two views here. There's a, a view of just looking at the page, like reading it, and then there's the edit view. And that's the one we're going to be focusing on in this tutorial is actually editing your wiki. So let's just click on edit. And you'll notice that we come to a, uh, a layout very similar to, you know, sort of the what you see is what you get layout in Word or Pages if you're on the Mac, um, and allows you to just do basic formatting. So let's start here. It says this sentence needs some work. And I'm just going to say, boy, this sentence needs some work. And now I'm going to go down here at the bottom of the page and click Save. And that migrates out to the web. And now this page is live and changed. So I've just now gone back into view mode. And the page says, boy, this page needs some work. Now I could, I'm just going to go down to, or click on Edit here again. Um, and now I'm going to do some formatting. So I can make this bold if I want or get rid of the bolding. I can go down here and select a heading size. So I'm going to hit heading 2. I can change the font and change it to whatever I want. Let's change it to uh, Georgia there. Um, change it to bold because it's kind of thick looking. Um, and uh, change the size so we can go up to 18 point or whatever. So we can do all sorts of changes. Now suppose I thought I don't really want those changes. Let's go down to the bottom of the page again and I can say cancel. And if I cancel, I c it goes back to the way that it was. Now this is just a demo so I'm just going to get rid of that sentence completely and I'm just going to select everything up to it, hit delete, save at the bottom again and it's back the way it was. Now you'll notice below that Liz and I have commented on this page. So there's sort of two ways you can provide feedback on a page that somebody's created or that you've created. One is to actually make changes in the document itself, but you can also comment on the um, page. So in this case, Liz just is saying hi, and I'm saying hello, Liz, nice to see you on the wiki. Um, and it's very easy to add a comment, and I can just say hello to myself, hello Wayne. And I'm just going to add that comment. And you'll notice that as soon as I do that, it automatically says who it's from and what time of day and what day um, the comment was made. And you'll also notice that you have an option to reply. And if I reply, it's indented. And I'm just going to be very iterative here and say, hello, Wayne, again. Um, and now I've got a reply indented off my reply. So it allows you to have sort of threaded conversations associated with each page in the wiki, which is very powerful. You'll also notice that you can delete comments. And the reason that everybody can delete um, is even you'll see I can delete Liz's comment, even though I'm not Liz, is because we all have admin privileges on the wiki. And that's deliberate. You can go into any page in the wiki, change it, edit it, comment, delete comments, um, and that's meant uh, so that you have the most power and it's the most flexible and there's the most diffuse responsibility. So I'm just going to delete the comments that I put in here and you just notice they're vanishing there. Um, and I'll just leave Liz's comment for now. Um, and you'll see the comments are down to one. So then I can just, um, that's all done there. So very easy to make basic text changes. And what if I wanted to do something like edit um, and put a link in? So let's say I wanted to put a link to, say, the CBC site here, for example, on sounds. So I just click Add a Link, and I could just cut and paste a link in there in the link. Hit Return, and remember to hit Save. And now that links out to the CBC website. And you see we're going out to CBC, um, and I can just go back again. So very easy to add a link. Now, what if I wanted to add a picture, for example? Well, we can go over to this right navigation here, and I'm just going to click on Edit first. And then over here, it says Pages and Images and Files. So suppose I wanted to insert a link to a specific page. So say I wanted to go to Brand Central Station. 
I don't have to type it or I don't have to add a link. In this case, all I have to do is click Brand Central Station and over here Brand Central Station shows up and it's already linked. If I wanted to add an image or a file to this page, um, I could do that. There's already an image in here, that's the ECN Hub that is on the front page of the site, but let's add another file. So I'm just going to upload a file and I'm going to pick a uh, picture that's Reception 1 here, choose it, it's uploading, uh, now it's there, I can see it when I roll over it, and if I click on it, it'll automatically embed it here. If I click on this at the bottom, I can scale it up, and I can hit return here just to bring it over to the side, and it's in my, pitch, it's in my wiki. So it's very easy to create um, wikis with pictures in them, or pages in the wiki with pictures in them. You can also insert things like a table. So if I want to do a very simple table here, I can just go under table here and uh, pick how big the table is going to be. I'll say it's a three by four table, and then I can enter text in that table and it will fill in like a table. So very easy to do. Um, I can also, if I choose to insert a video, um, if I wanted to put a video in here, I would go under video under YouTube, and then I can put a URL for a uh, YouTube video and it'll automatically be inserted there. Um, so very easy to do to insert rich media text. You can also insert other things like I could put in um, a uh, Skype tool that would say who's on uh, on Skype at the given time. You put your username in and then you can go in there. Um, you can put in other page information like recent visitors to the page. You can upload a video directly. You can add an RSS feed, a Twitter widget. So if I wanted to put a Twitter widget in here, I would put my username in this case, or it might be engineering, but I'm just going to put my own name in here. Um, and it'll show you roughly what it's going to look like there. It doesn't do anything yet until I hit save. And then it automatically puts in um, a link to my Twitter feed that's coming in from other folks. Um, so very easy to do um, and very easy to edit out stuff that you put in. So I'm just going to get rid of that. Uh, and I'm going to get rid of all of this stuff here. Um, by selecting it, hitting delete, and we're done. So and actually I'm just gonna fix that um, because it's got the link to the CBC there. We don't want that anymore, so I'm gonna get rid of that and click save, and it's back where we were. Um, so very easy to add uh, rich media content to the wiki as well. So that's basically a guide to creating uh, or editing a page. What if you wanted to create a new page? It's very easy to do. You just can go over here to create a page, and I'm just going to call it Wayne's new page. It's going to be a blank page. Now I could use a template. I'm not going to talk about templates in this tutorial. That will come later. Um, but a template allows you to create basically a skeleton for a page that you could use as raw material for future pages, like if you wanted to create a, a basic database. But we're going to use a blank page here. I'm just going to say create a page, and then I'm going to say, hi, this is my page, and just click on save very easily done. Now, that is a page created, but it's not linked to from anywhere. So I'm just going to go back to the home page. And let's say on the home page, I wanted to create a link to that page. All I would need to do is go in here and see that it says Wayne's new page over here. Click on it there. Click Save. And there we link on this. Click on it. And it goes to Wayne's new page. Now I'm just going to go back there and get rid of that by hitting Edit again go into where it says Wayne's new page, delete that, hit save, and we're done. So basic uh, run through of how to create a page, how to add content on a page, how to comment on a page, how to edit a page. So I hope that's a good guide and should get you started on actually diving into the wiki and using the wiki. So thanks very much for watching this part two of the ECN Hub tutorial. I'll talk to you next time. I'm Wayne McPhail. Bye-bye.